Hey everybody, Asher here, back with a return to Star Sector. For me, it's been a little bit of a delay, a few days for recording. Hopefully you all have had a good past few days, good weekend, things like that. We're just diving straight into the video because I want to make sure I get this up as soon as I can for you all. And I also want to go and point out uh, that you all are great viewers here that are constantly paying attention and notice that in my sleep deprivation and terribleness that I did not exactly sell all of my blueprints to the pirates, specifically some of the ones that I got from the Halmud. Uh, ended up going somehow by right clicking into my blueprint package but we're going to go with pirates of the caribbean rules here and say that you know what we're dealing with pirates so it's not so much rules as they are guidelines and i think we gave enough stuff to satisfy everything plus rip we have this vic uh, upgrade package we need to take in fact we have a technology cache that we can try to visit as well i think we're going to do that first although i kind of want to take the slipstream all the way back we have some business to do in the core worlds we have, maybe want to pick up some other contracts and everything else uh, also our colony is doing pretty awesome so far i'm debating whether or not to expand into another colony but i think i'm gonna wait until this is size five like the fact that it's growing and doing so well without a free port or without hazard pay is just kind of ridiculous like neither of those are really worth my time um, as I said, there's a lot of really cool things here. I actually maybe want to go ahead and build a variable assembler here. Um, although I don't know if I can do quite anything with it just yet. I shouldn't have clicked off of there. Um, the nice thing about variable assembler is that I can potentially move it up into a uh, full-fledged industry if I want to. And I do have some VPCs to work with. Um, specifically, the ship components VPC is really good for a lot of the heavy industry work that I want to do. Heavy machinery, also pretty good. Uh, may want to take some of the stuff to try to sell with me later on. Um, we're going to hold on to it now because I don't think I need the cash infusion. This is this is ours. This is not for the pirates. But yeah, and you can maybe hear a cat gurgling in the background. I don't know. I don't know what his deal is. All right, so another thing that I was going to do here real quick because we were looking at some of the pilots and everything like that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at everybody again here. We can't actually do anything with them just yet because we haven't gotten the level we're going to soon but i do need to hit this mentor button for a few people that have requested it we have quite a few story points so we are going to be trying to build up officers as i said before my goal in this run first off is to get automated ships so that we can have even more officers with a lot of gamma cores running in tiny frigates i think that's a very exciting option um, but i also want to um go and just add with some of this other stuff here to just really make it like very officer focused I, I think what's setting this run apart from my last run on top of some of the artificial restrictions i put on it is just the fact that oh rebellion and rush post from the derelicts nice um is just that you have a lot of officers that are really able to pull a lot of weight here so like i said i i really kind of want to take the slipstream back but we're not going to we may run into an Ordo. In fact, we have. They were looking for us the whole time. And look, one of my poor Mercantile convoys is about to get waxed by them. I'm terribly sorry. Hopefully y'all can go dark and can dodge this. Because right now I am not in a position to uh, like help out. This frigate got this damage. It's fine. Yeah, colony growth. Uh, every Everybody else is kind of doing the land grab thing as well. I know I've mentioned that a few times, but as uh, was recommended to me with the um, Derelict Empire build is that it's much more of an early game kind of thing. So it kind of really scatters everything around just in terms of what's going to happen, who ends up where. Everybody kind of gets a limited start though, which is really nice. So let's see here. We should have this drop point right here for technology cash. Didn't I accept another contract for a drop point? I may have already done that last time. All right, so this is just a regular old cash. If we explore, there's automated defenses, including a carrier or drone ship. This actually looks pretty dangerous. Let's see here. We do have the sandstorm. We do have we do have all this. I'm gonna I'm gonna engage, but I don't feel great about it. So we'll see how this goes. 
Like I do have I do have a lot of ships and we do kind of need this experience, but it's still a four star fight. Um, this is where when we get to level 10, getting that cruiser and getting an upgrade on the number of destroyers we have is going to be gargantuan for our survival here. But for now, we're just going to try to stick together and hope we don't get carried too much. Another thing that I've been reminded of is that I need to do better with just trying to turn with A and B instead of holding on to shift with piloting. That's true and a really good point here. So yeah, that carrier is scary as AF. Let's go ahead and get rid of this point here. Chasing the lumen seems terrible. I kind of want to go for the carrier first. That's probably a terrible move, but it's been a few days since I played, so... We're going to see how quickly I can die. Oh my gosh, it actually... You actually just decided to warp right into the middle of the wolf pack. That's not great for you. We already have comedy dying. Someone would be proud of that joke. Would love to actually shoot you from behind a little bit. Looks like we're getting some good work in, though. So that's a plus. Okay, got the got the cruiser down. Definitely need to focus fire on this next. Everything else is kind of tiny. But um, we definitely need to work on building up some of our... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? just our our frigates we've had so much other stuff going on with like oh god i'm going trying to go two on one with some remnants that's ambitious okay yeah i'm not surprised i i, I got caught in a two on one but i i will take that fall i can always build more of those maybe from the reuter union even but yeah now now we're doing our i'm very curious about what this combat log is going to look like because uh lowe's loner it's it's a loner so clearly we're gonna lose our deposit on that. But yeah, there we go. We got Ugg just trying to mash it in there. That looks that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna take a moment to alt tab real quick and I apologize for this. I just wanna make sure okay, good. I didn't actually have my microphone data covered. I I was having some mic problems earlier. So comedy's dead and Lowe's loner's dead. It's a, not a terrible wolf, but let's see if we can recover here. Lowe's Loner is a standard recovery, and it's got a lot more demods. Difficult recovery for comedy. Rip comedy. I mean, that's just that's just how it is. But we took a tough fight, and we managed to take out everybody. So that's really good. And uh, we got a Gamma Core out of it and some extra supplies. Actually, we are a little... Why are we weighed down on shit? Huh. Probably should have dropped some of that off at the planet. Oh, well. You can have this. Continue. And I think I advanced to level 9. I did. All right. So we get here, and we can take the AI core for ourselves, or we can have the shield of crate and send it off as soon as possible. Clearly, we're going to take the AI core for ourselves. So, my God. First off, we officially don't have to give all these to the pirates because I just gained a level. Haha. -ha. You know what we're going to do? We are going to go ahead and spin the Wheel of Actual Doom. That's what we're going to do. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, um, Pirates, I gained a level before I, I did that. So let me go ahead and hit the right buttons here. And um, just so that we don't have any Pirates watching that are actually going to take this. It's time for the Wheel of Actual Doom. We're level 9. Next level is a permanent mod, but not this one. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's not jettison everything you just won from combat. Oh, may only use black market for trade. That's actually eh, convenient enough. It's going to be a little annoying when trying to buy ships, but I can live with that. Hey, look, we can keep all the, we can keep all this stuff now. Okay, and before I lose my mouse pointer here, let's go ahead and do blippity bloppity. Close this window, and um, I still messed it up. Cool. I actually got rid of the game capture, so yeah, y'all actually got to see some of the spreadsheet in action. That's that's totally fine. Okay, so what do we get? Alpha core and uh, autonomous mantle bore. We know what that is. Norlasher is fine. That's actually from the Grand Houses, a heavy railgun. That's kind of exciting. Pod bay hangar piranha blueprint. I have no idea what to make of that. Uh, pod bay hangers, peculiar weapon. Oh, it's a weapon. Okay. 
um, lazy horn warp projector. So yeah, this is um, we're just gonna learn all these right now because that's fun because we don't have to give it to the pirates. Yay! Okay, and we can double tap that cash, right? Okay, that's not for double tapping the cash at least, but cargo pods. Man, I'd actually really like to keep that carrier. And we have another sensor contact over here on the right, so let's just dump these extra metals. We do have to give up the uh, Vic low grade though. Oh wait, while we're here, I did spin. I gotta assign all my officer stuff. Oh man, this is me being a little bit rusty. We're... Automated ships. Well, what do you know? Let's get back here real quick before I forget Fresnel Strike Carrier. If we explore it. Look at this thing. Now, like I said before, I want to be running a lot of frigates with the remnants, but this is the kind of thing that I'd like to pick up now so that I can have later. Looking at the deployment points, this is a cruiser from the looks of it, so I'm probably not going to be able to get it. I can double check that later. But if I can do a standard recovery right now, and I can, we are absolutely going to recover it. So that's a very that's a very big level. We're going to mothball this though. And if we look at the refit real quick, it's got it's got some Lux fighters. It's an automated ship, so it actually doesn't require any crew. Doesn't have anything like too exciting here. That's really exciting. And uh, as we saw, it likes to teleport around. I'm a fan. Officers though, as we can see, Lowe's loner. Lowe's loner has seen better days. Oh, I thought it had more D mods than that. Only three. That's that's not as bad as I thought. Okay, first off, Intel. My brain is all over the place. I hope y'all don't mind. Combat results here. Destroyer. Obviously, we saw the monster going around and going crazy. Um, Scary Spice and Sporty Spice with a uh, Vermush and uh, Joe Steel putting in some work. Uh, Dare of Lycos also putting in a little work and uh, Tony. Tony did tell me before that um, in the comments that he was a little concerned about how he was doing on the Starfarer. So I think some of that may be a Starfarer problem more than an officer problem. So let's take a look and see where Tony is right now. Tony's on the Starfarer. The Starfarer looks like it's seen better days. Like I said, I kind of need to do a re-up on some of the stuff here. So let's go ahead and... Um, Let's see here. What are your skills? Gunnery, implants, and combat endurance. We'll put you on a tragedy and see how that goes. Now, the other thing is that uh, the DMS, you're all weird and we're kind of creeped out about it. It's fine. But yeah, I need to I need to re-up my um, frigates. I actually don't have a lot of combat frigates right now, and I have an unlimited cap here of what I can get. Ooh, we did not mean to uh, de Joe Steel, Joe Steel. Now, we can't mentor Joe Steel. We can level up paper plate face guy and I am seeing that uh, Mr. Rock Forehead whose face that I need to change to actually fit the name here has helmsmanship but the ship that he's doing pretty well with is actually a big rocket boat I kind of like that so let's go ahead and let's level you up and see if um okay now polarized armor is very interesting combat endurance very interesting uh, is that a new icon for combat endurance or did I just miss it? Um, those are all very interesting, but I think we're going to mentor you. And I'm going to keep you out aggressive. But that'll give more options for actually leveling up. Joe Steel, we can't. Ugg, we definitely can. So we're going to mentor you. We're going to keep Ugg at Reckless. I mean, that's, that's the only way. Um, Tony's going to stay Reckless as well. So mentoring's good. Uh, Vlirjimus, um, pretty much any of our officers that are not um, maxed out are going to get mentored at this point, which means uh, Darrow and Makokolo, you're also winners. Um, I and I'm gonna as long as we're aggressive or reckless, I can work with that. Obviously, Bobby B, you're steady, and we've as we learned in the last series, steady is just fine. So, do we have more options here? We do. None of them are really missile related though. Um, ordnance expertise. Um, interesting. Interesting. Target analysis. I think that's going to be our winner here. 
Um, especially when we're flying frigates everywhere now. We want to punch above our weight. Okay, Ugh, Reckless, with impact mitigation. And we know you're a brawler. Um, combat endurance is probably what we want. Um, field modulation, as we saw, that ship doesn't have things here. Although the helmsman ship is not terrible. Hmm. I think it's got to be combat endurance first. We can always get a helmsmanship later. So Tony Vlirjimus, uh will be able to level you up just a little bit later. Darrow's um, also done pretty good. But yeah, there we go. A little bit of little bit of officer playtime. Playtime. Let's um let's go check this sensor contact, and then probably have to run. For, uh oh, oh god. Declaration of war between the Reuter Union and the Kingdom of Terra. Some of you viewers are going to be very sad about the fact that the dinosaurs are trying to kill us now. But isn't this what we said before, as we actually have a domain error probe here, that um, once once I got the um, stuff up and running and I could get the Reuter HQ there, if I cancel my commission with the Reuters, um, we could be okay. We actually have some combat readiness issues here, so I'm going to engage the automated... But I'm not going to ride Lowe's Loner, which just died. I will ride... Um... Oh, Ginger Spice is not currently being piloted. Neither is Posh Spice. That should probably change. We'll ride We'll ride Ginger off into battle. That's fine. Here we go. And hopefully we don't lose this, because that would mean we end up losing our wonderful thing that we are towing back with us. That is six stars worth of crap. Um... Could throw Lowe's Loner in there as well. Well, let's deploy anyway. This is fun. All right, so we got got some big shit over here. Let's fly to the left. Because the more we work together, the happier we'll be, is the word here. Like, these guys don't actually have shields, so we should be able to crack back here. In just a little bit like maybe even right now let's go ahead and get rid of this as we can see everybody's kind of flying off into the sunset here you guys go here I'll have you two eliminate this I kind of hate putting two officers on that but it's fine everything is awesome everything's cool when you're part of a team as long as I don't oh my god <laughs> I love the monster just going in there and blasting things, and look at the sandstorm just totally shitting on the competition. It's so great. You love to see it. Hey, look! Another ship where I outflux myself in front of an enemy and die. I think we're just gonna, uh, say rip Ginger Spice here. Okay. Um, I don't think I need to transfer command. I think it's actually more detrimental to my fleet if I'm actually in command here. So, wow. Look at Makokolo. He just took on two of those. Who else can we watch here? We have Bobby B, who we've seen do some work. We have uh, Joe Steele doing the thing. Um, Vlirj Moose is doing pretty good. Oh my gosh. You're getting surrounded. So, we need help here. But you can see he's actually just moving around. Like I said, the helmsmanship may be good, but that's just literally a punch. Falcon punch, falcon kick. Falcon everything. So it turns out, as is tradition, that I am I am the worst of all of my uh, pilots here. But yeah, four stars combat into um, actually winning here. So disabled ships are available for recovery. Well, that's exciting. So we can recover Ginger Spice. Do we want to get any of these? I don't know if we do. I don't normally play with the shieldless ships. We do definitely want to get that. Like, if we look here, it's six deployment points, but it's definitely not a frigate. Does that make sense? It's three deployment points. Uh, I mean, there's something to be said about some of this, but I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them rot for now. Pick through the wreckage. Somehow, you all are not carrying any any course at all, which is a little bizarre, but it's fine. Okay, cool. And look at that. Everybody gets even more experience. It's a lot of fun. Um, salvage operations. There's a there's literally one core. 
Okay, um, food's actually kind of valuable. Organic's not as valuable. And then double tap. Um, this is fine. Okay, cool. So we actually got nothing from that probe. And I don't even know if we got like a research station around here somewhere. But I think we've done enough damage that now we just need to... So I'm getting sensor pings all over the damn place. Alright. Let's go back home real quick. Hopefully without triggering the uh, good old fashioned um, Ordo that we know is waiting for us. And we probably have a bounty on our head just from stealing. Okay, that's um, that's not, that might be ours. All right. So everybody's getting hit really, oh shit. All right, we may have to story point to get out of this because I royally F that up. Or maybe not, they are surprisingly not agile. That is a maximum burn five ordo we should be able to like walk around this yeah you can you can have it if you really want it yeah even our like slow burn because of the skills we took is doing better so hopefully we successfully kited them around i did not mean to do that I did not mean to look in that system either we know it's useless We're just going to transverse jump. Can't wait for permanent rule. Can't transverse jump for the rest of the series. That's, that is what's coming on the next level, by the way. How close are we to the next level? Um, not very close. How did that last combat go? I, it's like we're starting to get into all this stuff again. Um, yeah, once again, our officers are doing pretty good. Tragedy, once again, not as happy, but Bobby B, um, Makokolo, Joe Steele, Ugh, taking a lot of hits, but the Sandstorm, as expected, doing a lot of really good work versus, um, what, what would you call that? Um, a bunch of shieldless schmucks, gross people, I don't know. Okay, you guys go here, you go here. We actually have a high value prisoner. That never happens. We're going to keep the Alpha Core for now. We're going to keep the Gamma Cores for now. Actually, you know what? I am probably going to just grab three of these just in case I find some frigates I want to go ahead and add into my group all right that's exciting so what do we got we have a bunch of shit here we have a bunch of cores that we're not using we actually have a sm we're running a small credit debt right now which is a little annoying oh yeah we got to actually drop the um, kitty off of the pool so store this what else do we have in storage right now oh yeah you would be nice to drag you around um, some of this other stuff's pretty good. Like, we could bring out the monitor. Bring out the glory of the stars. Bring out oof, it hurts. Kind of just want to keep it in there. But we'll bring you guys out. And who are you? Dark Matters. Yep. Cool. So we definitely do need to get some more ships, though. So we're now under crew strength. Cute. All right. Somehow assigning more ships to our fleet has made our crew situation. Well, we did technically just get like smacked in the face and lose a few ships, so I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Uh, resource stockpiles. Look, we have crew ready and waiting to be brought to um, space. So this is fine. One more time. Anything that we know we want to sell here. Because we're, we're going to be selling stuff on the black market. I definitely want that. I probably want that. I don't think we're going to be using a supercomputer, so I think we can sell that. Um, as, as funny as the text is on that. We went over that last time. Because um, I wouldn't mind going ahead and building a Reuter Dives, especially if it looks like the Reuters are going to get eaten by dinosaurs. Because I don't know who aggressed who. But I am not pleased... I'm not, I'm not pleased by this development here. All right, well, we can only trade on the black market anyway, so let's head back to the core worlds and see what fun we could possibly have down here. We got to sell to the pirates too, so maybe let's set a course for Enyan. I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. 
Did I di actually didn't get fuel? So I hope I have enough fuel. I have enough fuel. Alright. Hopefully this means we don't actually have uh, dinosaurs coming to knock on our colony door to invade it. That'd be a problem. Okay. That's not great. We want to take the slipstream. We don't want to, like, not take the slipstream. So if we turn off our thing here, we can just fly. It's all so nice. It's just so convenient taking mass transit. All right, so very... Oh, man, I meant to actually equip the variable assembler before we left. Oh, well. So that's going to be sitting there for a while, costing me money, and I'm not going to be making money off of it. Um, cool. Okay. Is that an auto? It's a uh, lying in wait unidentified fleet. It's definitely not pirates. Totally, absolutely not pirates. Well, we'll find reason to go back to our colonies here in a little bit, probably, maybe. Because right now, I, I kind of want to know. Amazingly, Ikari still belongs to the Reuter Union. I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay, so we also potentially have some other contracts here. If I hit the right buttons. So we have some invasions. Okay. Nothing super new. Where's our pirate station? Our pirate station is all the way down on the bottom of Frozen World. Fun times. Hopefully they don't have like a big nasty patrol sitting around it. And they don't. Nice. Okay. Hey, pirates, I got some good news for you. Remember that last series when I would just constantly be, like, attacking you all the time? Also, once again, I know it's pirates, but we can only trade on the black market. So anything good that's here doesn't matter. That's actually a really interesting missile launcher. So is that one. Okay. Um, food market. The derelicts need food. I thought people were the food. Um... All right, so we're definitely selling this. We're not right-clicking it. Okay, I'll just cry one more time for the laid law mass driver disappearing. It's such a good weapon. Maybe the pirates can build some for me. Okay. Class 5 survey data. The shit. The shit. Um, we'll, set, we'll find a better buyer for that. Then we'll buy all of this. New, 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 new. All of you. There we go. And then some of you. That'll be fine. Um, I probably, you know, I didn't even check the prices to see if fuel or supplies were overpriced. I paid way too much. Um, yeah, we're going to have to cry a little bit for what may be on the open market or not. Um, scarred Spacer. Um... So we got 20,000 things here. May your story have a better place here. We got a terraforming rig that we have 90 days to complete. Um, that's fun. Settle an old score with the Ludic Church. That's a pretty big ship. Um, after consulting with the Pinnaces, your first officer estimates the target poses no risk whatsoever. Pirates against the Ludic Church. They want me to obliterate this ship. I'm not going to do it. I mean, it's it seems nice, but I'm not. And we are at a, we are at a pirate place, but I don't actually have to take it. So terraforming rig is all the way over here. Interesting. I think I'm going to go for this. I know I did say we have a lot of other stuff we got to do, but it's one of those things where time is of the essence right now. Um, this does mean I need to refill refill my fuel tanks quite a bit. Is there anybody that'll actually sell to us? Um, it's my reputation with the Persian League. They still are inhospitable to us. Um, could give a prisoner to them and make it work a little bit better. Uh, Diabolavionics is just neutral. Okay, let's see if they have fuel. We can check and see if we get any uh, good contracts on the way there as well. Because this is this is definitely something kind of different 
from before. Alright, so this is a very large system to be spending a lot of time flying through. Which is a little annoying, but it's fine. It doesn't cost us fuel to do this, but good lord. This is really far away. Should have just gone in a straight line. Okay. Mining station. That's in the exact wrong direction. Alright, what do we got up here? We got lots of debris. And uh, somebody apparently picked a fight with the wrong group here. Alright, so what about your bar here? We're not going to worry about that. Um, we're not going to buy security codes. Um, we're not going to buy a freighter location here. We can only trade on the black market. Um, what am I? Wow, I am control click. I keep alt clicking. Okay, and see, we don't want to buy these supplies. I actually cost myself way too much money by doing that last time. Um, Psy Nation, maybe. They actually really need heavy machinery. I'm just going to dump a bunch of this now. Probably only need 62. We can pick up more on the way. Um, yeah. Are we suspicious? You bet your ass we're suspicious. Um, anything we can buy ship-wise off the black market? Ooh, a Strom. Stroms are good. Uh, tanker here. This is a destroyer class tanker. Um, technically I'm at half fuel tanks. How good am I for getting there? Not great. I actually may need to ditch some of my ships here. So let's see. Do we have any ships that uh, seem like they have pretty bad... Um, yeah. Like this one here. This one takes a lot of fuel. Okay, maybe not too much fuel. But yeah, this is these are these are two that are just kinda like they're demodded all to hell. Dark matters technically too. Makes me a little sad, but it's fine. Sell it. Sell it. Sell, sell, sell. There we go. So how are we doing now? We got a we got a little more fuel. We got enough fuel to make it out there. The problem is that we got to get enough fuel to get back. So I think Shadow Yards doesn't hate us. Hopefully they have fuel. The Dictat, eh, they might not trade with us, but Shadow Yards definitely will. Um, don't think there's any ships I want to buy on the black market. I mean that might not be bad. You know what? Let's buy let's buy a draft. It's a it's a little different. I mean we have vapors as well. We haven't we've only done a little bit of diable stuff. Uh, hybrid Vonzer. That doesn't look like a destroyer, so. And we'll buy um. We'll buy some of these. All right, so we're going to do this nice and quick. I know technically what's going to happen next is one where I should only be able to equip myself from the black market, so let's see if I can do this right. Um, auto fit. Um, can only buy from the black market here. I'm going to do assault. I hope I didn't just spend all my money. Oh, wow. Okay, see, that's the problem. But if we buy ordnance from the market, we actually have shit we can buy, right? So see, that's that's a problem here. Okay, let's actually look and see. Huh, fascinating. All right. So, how are we going to do this? If we just strip everything here, we could try to do standard. Like, there's some there's some decent guns here. Interesting. Okay, well. Let's see if we, let's see if we can do a little better 
at another market somewhere else. And let's get the F out of Dodge before we have any more suspicion here. All right. Hopefully we don't get too pursued. We have a derelict ship contract as well. Like if it looks like places are just not gonna work with me actually trying to buy from the um, black market, we'll, we'll finagle it and try to make it work. But it could be the auto fit having issues. Oh look, we're no longer hostile with the Kingdom of Terra. Fun. Okay, um, that's exciting. Can maybe make that work. Let's go visit the Shadow Yards here. It's a pretty reliable first place to go. As we are riding around in hyperspace with our beacon on like a bunch of confident jerks. And it looks like you're patrolling. Are you patrolling right into us? No, you're patrolling right into whatever that was. Nice, as long as it's not us. Domain error probe, 90,000. In the same area, yes please. So if we have these accepted, we have 78 days to get over there. I think we can do this. You know, Vic, can we trade with Vic? I think we can, they usually have fuel. Is this, this isn't like their base planet though. Maybe it is. Let's give it a shot, it's a tiny system. We can go in the middle and then go down. Not like that. Okay. And then that's in the wrong direction too, nice. Okay. What's this? Relationship with Diable and Persian League both decreased due to trade with black market and trade with enemies. Wow, guys. You, you're, you're literally trying to have it both ways. So that's 30 fuel for a little bit less. Um, that's not my favorite, but I can, I can afford that price. Do you all have any good tiny weapons on the black market? You might. Ooh. Okay, we might be able to equip our ships here if it works. Um, we definitely need to buy some fuel. Need to stop control clicking to get fuel. Um, do y'all need food? Because I, I have a feeling I just need to dump this and dump this. All right. So let's try this again. Refit. Auto fit. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what's going on here. Is um, it's saying buy from the market, but it's only allowing black market purchases. Okay, well, ooh, this is this is some good shit. We're gonna, we're gonna take a minute and look here and just say, you know what? This is on the main market right now. We can't really do much with that right here just for the sake of time since technically it's not me buying it we're just gonna auto fit like this so whatever but we do know the laid law of mass drivers they have a bunch for sale here so that's gonna be really good um harpoon mrms cute okay um not really sure what the plan is here for attack but it's fine Graviton Beam and Phase Lance. And then this. Flat Cannon. Most everybody is pretty happy with their ships, but I want to see how Tony does in a Vonzer. Like, I, I always want to... It's actually named Surprise. I think we're going to keep that name. I know there's lots of, like, other shit and lots of other names that we've had suggested to us, but... This will be okay. So now that we're here, we are slowly eking our way up on our fuel profile here. I didn't even check to see what things were available in the black market, other places, but it's fine. But this is why we're making a bunch of stops, because if I could have just filled up my fuel tanks right there, but um, we don't really have it available. It's cool. Anything else we see here that we need? Oh my god, laid law accelerators. Times three. I'm just going to go ahead and buy those, just to save them for a rainy day, because they are really good. Um, accelerated shields. We actually don't know that one. That's a pretty damn useful one. Oh, look, Narwhal Tusk Launcher. So suddenly I'm like, I have all this money. I'm, I'm 
I have I have attention span problems, guys. Wow, how is the black market better for ship availability? Nothing we're gonna buy here today, but although there is a pretty neat phase for good. All right, so we're inching ever closer to being able to return, and if we can find just one place where we can go and pop in on like a slipstream, that'll be magical. But yeah, we can definitely get our shit from the shadow yards here. And um, if we can just make it work, we make it work. Domain error probe in the correct direction. I'd love it if it was the same probe. Okay, also got to be wary of... Okay, that's not in the right direction. Hey, look, uh, that w we were just there. Okay, my, my brain is slipping a little bit, but it's okay. Um... Delivering harvested organs. That's gross. I mean, important work, but gross. Hey, where did we harvest them from? I don't know. Okay, so this is... This one is still... It's still Shadow Yards. Okay. So we can just pop in... Right here. Oh, that's a pirate trade convoy. I could have totally fought them. Oh, well. I got other shit to do. All right, and uh, here's this patrol. They're gonna love that I'm just happily coming over here to buy some ships off the black market. Oh, wow. Actually, um, they have some more of these phase frigates over here. They're a little pricey for what I'm wanting to do today. But let's at least take a look. Uh, phase mass bubble projectors, the augment. Small energy and small synergy. So it's not like the big over the top, like the Vic one, but good to know. Okay. Um, we are seriously only interested in fuel. Ooh, that's expensive. I need to build a requisition requisition center. Guys, all your fuel prices suck. Okay, we can trade with the hegemony at Distock. We're, we're going to do that. I mean, I'd love to just be able to slip in and steal some fuel at this point, but... Um, I'm going to buy this just because we can... Then we're going to go over here to this station and do this because we can. But I promise you I'm not very happy about this. Um, black market. Remember when buying fuel was as simple as just pointing and clicking and going somewhere? I remember those days. Those were good days. Who thought it was a good idea to be like, Hey, you know, let's just only trade on the black market. Wouldn't possibly need it for things that I could have picked up at my own um, way station in my home planet, but I didn't. And Vic's Fighting Fang Society. Well, that's that's a truly shocking development. All right, where is this dock? This dock is over here. Okay, so the derelicts have lost yet another stronghold. Good to know. Unfortunately, and not much that I can do to get involved with invading those things, but it's all right. Um, we just got to find a space station over here and hope to believe that they have fuel on their black market. They don't really. Okay. Um, Look at all this fuel here. They were supposed to have a lot more. Guys. Okay, Kulin supposedly does. And um, you're just a bounty hunter. And Colin's back over here, so I don't know who's flying to me right now. All right, so everyone's trying to scan, be all cautious around here, that's fine. It's another abandoned station. I guess I knew that one was there too. Um, there we go, finally. Finally fuel.com. Um, Please tell me that. Yeah, that's enough to go back and forth now. So we're not even we're not even going to delay. I mean, we can look and see what the hegemony has on the black market. Hegemony cricket, it's a fox. And like wolves and stuff, all very all very basic things. I mean, none of it's totally like wrong or bad or anything. But we do have like 
some good ships, I think. Let's make sure that we have all of our officers assigned to something, by the way. I'd hate to have people missing out. You know what I haven't been doing a good job doing? Looking to see if there's officers available places, because I have a whole list of people that I still need to get on board here. So we'll check this dock one more time. And I promise to be better about it next episode. I apologize. Like I said, it's literally been five days since I last recorded my uh, kids with the weather. And they're kind of having a surprise second winter break, which means that um, lots of recording that could have happened, possibly on like a lunch break or something, absolutely did not happen. Not that work was really cooperating very well with me anyway, but sometimes it's nice to squeeze it in. Anyway, we got a few minutes left. We have a terraforming platform to find. And these things. 56 days, so this dual star system could be good. Have we been here? We have not been here. We have not been here either. I have a feeling this terraforming rig is totally like a terrible, terrible idea that will like destroy me. But, you know, that's part of the fun, right? So here we go, we have probably just a sensor ghost following me. So hello, sensor ghost. I barely knew you. We love, oh look, that is a medium beacon system right near the core worlds. That doesn't happen very often. All right. And then we're still getting followed by the sensor blippies until now, which means we're probably about to get, like, murdered by something out from a nebula. We're fortunately not bleeding money too badly here. And uh, that's an Ordo that's probably going a little bit faster than we are. Max speed 7. Um, I think we're okay. As soon as we can get out of the nebula here. All right. Like, I can't fight you all. But it's more fun that I have to even worry about it than working with Midnight Dissonant and then suddenly all of the uh, remnants love me. Okay, how many days do I got here? 13 days, 44 days. I think we're okay unless terrible things happen right now. Okay, that was pretty bad. I did buy a lot of supplies, so hopefully we're not going to go Oregon Trail, do really wrong when we get to like the Snake River or something. Oh no, the derelicts disrupted the Vic Revitalization Center. Oh, they're gonna get a cat virus now. It's too bad in my Vic run I never got to play with like cat viruses or some of the more crazy things that the Vic could do, but they kind of just kicked me out. Kicked me out. Ha 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 ha. No. Um, oh wow. Um, reparations. Oh shit. Oh god, that's two Ordos. Hey! I bet this is a red beacon. Well, we're going to um, e-burn and try to go in through the French jump point. Going to try. This is a non-beacon system. Interesting. And we're going to... Oh, look! We found a terraforming rig. Question is, is it guarded? Okay, so sparks still flicker from the ancient terraforming rig's engines. A futile attempt to burn long depleted fuel reserves. Scans indicate multiple system failures caused by prolonged lack of maintenance. A handful of frozen corpses drift nearby because it's space. Uh, clinging to shattered life pods, hoping for a rescue that never came in the aftermath of the collapse. Sensors return indicate unusually short-lived charged particles near the derelict dense d d d density distribution of the internal structure. It's also changed from patterns extrapolated from your previous encounters with domain air exploration vessels as if internal masses have been removed or intentionally redistributed. So, you're here. I am fairly certain I cannot take this on. Which is fascinating because I only have 45 days to do this. And um, this this thing will just murder me. Like, I do not have the firepower to do this yet. But it's good to know that it's here. I'm curious if, if it will still be here. If you do not make haste, others will come by to salvage it first. Well, you know, if they do, then um, they do, I guess. 
All right, we're going to have to try to juke the um, the remnants that were chasing us, too. So, like I said, I'm not too surprised. I am a, just a touch disappointed that I wasn't able to, like, get everything out of there. But this is this is part of the ship restriction game that I have. I just can't run in and just go blasting everywhere. So, beta, beta Janicel star system, orbiting a jump point. Please tell me... Please tell me y'all are doing the same thing here. I should be going dark right now. So they're still looking for me. Hey, they went into the jump point. I don't know how they did that. Okay, cool. Wonder if the remnants will get it. Okay, so it's orbiting a jump point in this dual star system here. Guess we'll figure that out soon. Ooh, the faction of the derelicts have officially been eliminated. Is the galaxy at peace? HMI landing the killing blow by the way. So we have a few days left to do this. I am glad we went out to the terraforming rig. It's too bad that um, it didn't really work out, but we have some other stuff to make a while. Unfortunately, we picked the weird ass system with like 50 jump points. And because of fuel considerations, I'm going to have to stay in here to check all these. So automated defenses. That's a lot, but I think we can take it. I know, there's probably a better way to do this than just clickety-clickety. And my goal today is to not get killed. We'll see how that goes. All right. Maybe I try to, like, shoot the backs of ships like I was doing before instead of going toe-to-toe -to -toe and pointing my butt directly at the front of them. Like, that's a, that's a honest-to-goodness nice thought, as we have already the Barwin just trying to kill things here. You know what, guys? Let's send you all into the fray here. We're just going to try to knife directly through the middle as uh, Tony beats up Darrow of Lycos. And um, let's see what we get. Hey, did I say I was not? I was going to like go for the back shots and stuff? Let's try over here. Okay. No, we're not going to go three versus one here. I am going to ram you, though, apparently. That's fun. So we got a little missiled, a little more missiled. And look! Lowe's Loner is dead again. Alright, so everybody's still trying to chase this down. We may have ourselves a bit of a problem here. Let's see what we can get, because clearly, clearly this is not working. And I don't even know who's flying that here, but we have all of our officered ships over here. We've successfully pulled this over to the side. Is there anybody else I can jump in? Let's just transfer command over here. Clearly, me and Lowe's Loner do not mix. So there's um, Punchy McPunch face. All right, and we're just about to get in there. There we go. Okay, so we have things are things are dying. And once again, we don't want to like just be totally out of this so there we go we're we're getting we're getting more of these guys dead let's get rid of this eliminator because it's going to confuse the shit out of people we have two command points left so let's make it count let's regroup on this guy that'll be that'll be a good use of resources and let's see if we can maybe use our superior speed here to our advantage and kite them all the way back over to my forces. Oh, Reaper Torpedo got shot down, and I just rammed um, uh, Lear Jamus. Oh, wow, actually killed something. Okay, so that's a that's a plus. So these are um, angular shields. Okay, we have some very loud weapons. Wow, just forget saying I'm done playing with you, Captain. Um, I'm scared. Oh, you... Okay, this is a good use of last command point. We have everybody spread out to the Seven Suns, and we have Destroyer trying to punch out this drone. And I think it might actually work out. So yeah, Lowe's Loner, good ship, but probably not in my hands, is the conclusion there. Like, that was always one of the challenges. Whoa, my god. Okay, that's a really loud weapon, Tony. But there we go. Um, 
We're all doing okay. Um, we do have this big thing over here to try and like shoot at. There we go. Joe Steele showed me how to fly that ship. There we go. I'm doing a little better with this one. Alright, what else do we got? You down here, trying to chase somebody, probably comedy or tragedy. As uh, Darrow doing a very smart, like, turn rotate here. There we go. So, that went from disaster to uh, not disaster. I'm a fan. And we lost two ships. We lost Lowe's Loner and we lost Ginger Spice again. Consider ship recovery. We could recover Lowe's Loner. Ginger Spice is officially off the roster. And you know what I think I'm going to do? As we'll pick up all this shit, because we are going to need some uh, stuff for repairing. Did I just gain a... Oh, I just gained a story point. I was about to say, I know I didn't just gain a level here. Um, we did get some money from uh, our commission as well. Whoops! Not... I mean, Face Lance, we can, we can buy those plenty of places, but... All right... Yeah, we're, I think I would honestly rather fly this than Lowe's Loner and trust somebody else to that. Give me, give me a less complicated ship. Like, what do you even have on you? Graviton beam, phase lance, and some flat cannons. And it has cramped hull. Uh, can't accommodate any modifications, so that's fun. But yeah, if we look at our uh, combat log one more time here. Uh, let's see here. So we haven't even analyzed these probes yet. Ugh, okay. Combat results. Sporty Spice with Joe Steele doing a really good work here. Uh, Glory of the Stars, Lasher, second place. Tony with the surprise doing a little more work here. Destroyer definitely started well, was able to get kited, so... See, like I said, this this ship is really good in somebody else's hands. I am probably just gonna um, repair instead of rebuild. But yeah, the harvest burst, I guess, is the thing, and it was the multi CAS beam that was really loud. Um, Destroyer, I love that we don't get the rest of the stuff here. Unknown high explosive, boomstick, grinder, tragedy, doing some work. You're all weird and gross. So here's kind of our uh, ship summary here. And then Sandstorm. That fight kind of went back and forth across the dance floor a little hard. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just triple tapped that on accident, but that's fine. Um, let's go to the jump point over here. And then um, don't don't make bad with United Pan Med. Like I said, I'm honestly pretty close to ditching. Okay, we got a, I think that's just a debris field. I guess we'll find out in a second. Um, are you one of my quest probes? Yes. Okay, sensor package for 90,000 and too close to a star to be worth anything, so that's fine. That's how it usually is. We uh, rip some machinery here, it's fine. Doesn't look like there's much else over here either. Okay. So yeah, like I said, level 10 is going to be unlocking another classification of ship. Ooh, survey ship. And um, another probe. It's going to unlock another class classification of ship as well as a permanent mod here. So explore rich ores. That's exciting, I guess. So good old-fashioned exploration. We know this well. Are we going to get another fight here is one of my questions. Okay, explore, engage automated defenses. Um, I, I don't know. I think I may just leave this one for later. Because A, it's a little late for me and I kind of want to stop recording soon. And B, that's, I, I, want, I want to give that a think before I do this. Like, our ships are doing, our ships are doing pretty good. But I just, want, I just want to think on that one for a minute. What else do we have in here? Okay. This is another destroyer. We can recover it for free. 
it has design type database error, which I'm pretty sure that's intentional. Uh, modified remnant drone ship has turned out to be only a uh, only share superficial similarity with remnant designs, but around unknown and highly advanced technology, its full capabilities are unknown. Um, has large hybrid medium synergy, and it's a destroyer. We're going to recover this, but we're not going to be able to use it right now, um, which is fine. We're just going to mothball this for now, but let's take a look at it real quick. Um, definitely interesting. Definitely could use some good scrubbing down here. Laws Tech Engineering. I'll, I'm going to leave this up here for y'all to pause and look at, but I'm going to read it later because my, my poor brain... Look, it's not that probe. Um, we're not going to engage these automated defenses either. I just kind of want to finish out this recording here. And then we will figure out if we want to play in the system next episode or not. So I'm happy to get y'all's feedback from that. But once again, and I think there's something down on the... Okay, that's just a planet. We'll swing by there on the way out too because we got plenty of supplies. But I'll go ahead and work on the sign out now because if we do have to fight for this one, we will fight for this one. But this is Asher with um, more Star Sector. Like I said, I'm a little rusty. Oh, no automated defenses here. That's exciting. Um, but yeah, we're doing the exploration thing. But once again, if we look at the factions, the derelicts are no longer a faction. The galaxy has officially been mapped. And fortunately, the Reuters did not get eaten by dinosaurs this episode. Um, we found our little corner of the universe. Would be really great if we could find some other places that um, worked out for us. Like we do have a cryo sleeper right here, and a tundra world. This this is another like system with potential. Um, and plus that cryo sleeper is pretty damn close to things. But you know, we have our little pocket. That's fine. Everybody else has their place. It's fine. Um, for now, my biggest focus is just finding a ship that works for me, fixing up fixing up this ship, making other stuff work. Like I said, I, I'm always open to ideas, suggestions, anything like that. As I said before, my expectation is that I'm going to be flying a uh, frigate throughout this while the bigger ships are going to be doing some bigger work. But that'll do it for this one. This is Asher. Actually went all the way to an hour, which is a little bit surprising to me. We may have some cleanup we got to do in the uh, Gen Al system here. But that'll be a decision for another time where my brain's a little fresher. Um, you all take care of yourselves. Thanks again for your patience with a little bit of a layover from some of the videos. Like I said, I hope you all have uh, had a good week, good January, which it's almost over now. We'll do this again soon. You all take care.